Good morning. Happy Monday. It is a cloudy day, so I feel like my video, it looks a little grainy. I'm sorry about that. Um, I always stand at my front window to get some nice light, but I wanted to share a, this is kind of a vulnerability post for me. So a vulnerability video. Um, but I thought, you know what? I've done it before. Like, I don't know, a, about a month and a half ago. I don't know if y'all tuned in. If you go like back up my feet a little bit, you'll see that um, I had been yelled at by a stranger who threatened to hit me with his car. And in the moment I came on Facebook Live because I was like <laughs> freaking out. And I kind of walked you through how I was gonna talk myself down from that very stressful situation. And so I find myself in a place of stress again today. And I thought, well, why not hop on a Facebook Live and kind of talk you through it? But for those of you who are kind of new to me or new to what I do, I have been sharing a lot of things from my private practice, from my life experience, from my coaching and consulting practice about managing your was factor, worry, anxiety, and stress. And y'all, I'm experiencing every, all of that this morning. So I am leaving as soon as I'm done with this to number one, stressor, drive to the city. Number two, stressor, for a doctor's appointment. So many of you know, and if you don't know, then you'll hear it through my videos and in my posts that I am a cancer survivor, a cancer survivor times three, bone, breast, and two, actually two different types of skin cancer. So I, I guess I could say four, but that, that just seems dramatic. But anyway, Point being, I can't just go to like regular doctors half the time. I have to go to special, like it has to have the oncology with it, like an oncology gynecologist or an oncology cardiologist and this kind of thing because I've had so much chemotherapy. So I'm on my way to Chicago to see an oncological cardiologist and, um, I, I don't think there's anything wrong with me, but just to be sure there's not, this is why I'm going. So again, this is a very much a vulnerability post because um, I have been having some flutters. Now, that's normal for me. What's not normal is the um, consistency. So like I've been having them more often, so now I have to go. But here's the catch. And I think y'all will understand this. Here's the catch is it could be anxiety too, right? Because our anxiety, our stress, our worry, we have physical symptoms when we're experiencing that. So I, it's, it's almost like this chicken before the egg or cart before the horse, like which came first and which is it kind of thing. So here's what I'm doing and here are the points that I want to give you as you're like going through your real life and as you are maybe dealing with some physical symptoms of worry, anxiety, stress, that was factor. If you are like, okay, I don't want to, I have fear, anxiety, or I have anxiety about going to a doctor's appointment. So here's some recommendations, some tips, and really what I'm doing. This is what I'm doing, you guys. <laughs> guys, gals, friends, this is what I have to do too. Like it's not just you. Remember that stress, worry, anxiety, stress is any perceived threat in our environment. Our brain doesn't differentiate between good and bad stress. And listen, I really like my cardiologist too. So it's not like I'm gonna be sad about seeing her. It's just, this is a stressful situation. Okay, so number one, have a plan. So I know what time my appointment is. I'm actually giving myself 20 extra minutes just in case. I don't know, traffic, I forget where I'm going because I haven't been there since pre-pandemic. So I, you know, I'm giving myself extra time. So number one, have a plan 
where are you going? When are you leaving? What, what are you going to do? Like I'm, I filled up my bottle of water, so I'll have water to drink. Like I know what mask I'm wearing. I mean, I've planned it. I know what I'm listening to on the way there. That's tip number two is what soothes you? Classical music, I don't know, country music. Is it your favorite podcast? Ooh, and I have a recommendation, especially if you feel anxious at night, there is a great podcast that is called Calm Pills, C-A-L-M, Pills, and it's all like music. So it's all um, orchestral or synthesizer music. It's just really relaxing and you can like choose what kind you like. It's fantastic. So have a plan. And I guess part of that plan is decide what soothes you and see if you can bring it into that experience and that music or that the podcast or whatever I'm planning on doing, which is an audiobook actually. I'm gonna listen to an audiobook and probably call my mom on my way. And then three, deep breathing. Always, always, always. That is like, no matter what the issue, experience, anything, deep breathing. Oh, guys. Okay, that reminds me. I'm just going to have to tell you the story about how prayer and deep breathing basically saved me from... I'll tell you that story another time. Okay, but anyway, have a plan and uh, give yourself extra time. <sighs> what soothes you and bring it into the experience? And three, breathe, deep breathing down into your gut. So I have to leave so that my time window stays where it should be. And so I hope that this was helpful for you. I hope that you get something out of it. You know, listen, worry, anxiety, stress will always be there. It will always be there. And that's okay. I, I guess this is like a little sub tip. And I give this one like a shout out to Mel Robbins for this one because she taught me this. Since your brain doesn't differentiate between good and bad stress, she does this little trick. Like before she goes out to speak, she gets anxious or nervous. And so what she does is she says to herself out loud, I'm excited. Well, I'm not excited about going to the doctor's office, but what I can do is I can show gratitude and I say, thank you body for trying to warn me everything's okay here and this is going to be a great visit so we can talk to ourselves and talk to our bodies and and our brains to kind of like put ourselves in place this isn't a bad thing i'm going to be fine but i have to tell myself that because my brain can't differentiate does that make sense that primitive brain that just wants to set off the warning signal. So that's it. And I'm going so that I stay in my window and my plan will go through and I will be breathing and I will be soothing all the way there. So I will keep you posted. I'll let you know how the visit went, how the relaxation methods helped me. And I look forward to talking to you again soon. Until then, my friends, peace.